What is casting? Casting is the process of reducing metal or alloy parts by pouring molten metal or alloy into a prepared mold and then allowing the metal or alloy to then solidify. Well, this is a process, so it has to have its own advantages, right? So, what are the advantages of metal casting? Casting can be used to produce complex and economical shapes which are difficult to produce by other processes. A product obtained in casting is one piece and hence no metal joining processes are needed. Very heavy parts that are normally difficult to fabricate can be easily manufactured by casting. It also produces machinable parts. Casting can be easily mechanized using machines for mass production of machine parts. Applications of metal casting, transportation vehicles, automobile engine parts and railway crossings. These are some of the many examples that make use of metal casting. Now, a pattern is defined as a model or replica of an object to be cast. The type of pattern to be used for a particular casting depends upon the quantity of casting to be produced, its size and shape of casting, type of molding method, design of casting. The various types of patterns which are commonly used are single or solid pattern, two piece or split pattern, loose piece pattern, open die pattern, gated pattern, patch plate pattern, sweep pattern, skeleton pattern, segmental pattern, floorboard pattern, packed up pattern, etc. When a pattern is removed, a cavity corresponding to the shape of the pattern remains in the sand which is known as mold or mold cavity. This sand is known as molding sand and is used mainly because of its low cost. Why low cost? Because the sand is normally sourced from riverbeds, lakes, sea and deserts, you know, nature. Mold cavities can also be manufactured using shell molding and CO2 molding. Shell molding consists of a sand dressing dumped over a heated pattern which results in the formation of shell over the pattern. The shell is then stripped and joined together to complete the mold. It has a high surface finish and is hence used for areas where greater accuracy and smooth surface finishes are needed. Second comes CO2 molding. CO2 gas at a pressure of about 1.5 kg per centimeter square is diffused through the mixture of pure dry silica sand to initiate hardening reaction. The cost of raw material is low and production rate is high and are hence used for steel, iron, aluminum and copper based alloy casting. So the question arises, what are the three normally used casting processes? Well, the first is pressure die casting in which metal is poured by pressure into a metal mold where the metal solidifies under pressure with great surface finish. This method has high production rates and is hence used to manufacture automobile parts, toys, decorative parts, etc. Second comes centrifugal casting. Here, several cavities are located around the outer edge of the mold and the metal is fed by radial gates at the center. These castings are near perfect with low rates of rejection. Third and the last casting process is vacuum casting. A mixture of fine sand and urethane is molded over a metal dye robotic arm and immersed partially in a furnace. This produces low pressure in the mold which draws the metal inwards. The temperature of the molded metal is generally 55 degrees Celsius above liquid temperature and hence it quickly solidifies. Advantages include greater strength and highly mechanizable process. Normally, a pattern is always made larger than the final casting because it carries certain allowances due to metallurgic and mechanical reasons. Some of them are shrinkage allowances which is provided to compensate for thermal contraction. Machining allowance which is the amount of dimension on a casting which may require machining all over or on certain specified portions. Draft allowances are given to all vertical faces of a pattern for their easy removal from sand. After allowances comes the gating system which is a term applied to all channels by which molten metal is delivered to the mold cavity. It consists of boring cups, screws, runner, gates, etc. A riser is a passage of sand made in the cope to permit the molten metal to rise above the highest point in the casting. It also allows extra gases to escape. Next in line are casting defects and their remedies. Caused due to a single manufacturing fault or a combination of many, the first in the list are blow holes caused due to excess moisture in the mold and sand and can hence be controlled by regulating moisture. Second is porosity which occurs due to the presence of gas in metal and can be controlled by regulating pouring temperature. Third, shrinkage is caused by faulty gating, faulty rising or improper chilling and can be remedied by ensuring proper solidification. Fourth comes inclusions which are again caused due to faulty gating system and can be remedied by modifying the same. Last comes hot tears or hot cracks which are caused due to the lack of core or mold collapse visibility and can be remedied by improving the core and mold collapse visibility. The final part is the inspection of casting which is done so as to detect any defect in them. First is a destructive method where samples of castings are picked, cut into pieces at points where defects are suspected. But this leaves a lot of chances a sample may or may not contain a defect which is present in a lot of other samples. Second comes non-destructive methods which include visual inspection using microscopes, magnifying glass or the naked eye. Inspection for dimensional accuracy as it reveals whether the pattern or the core boxes used are correct or not. Second test with a hammer. The resulting sound pitch is noted. This is cross-checked for distant unit within the mass of casting. All of this ensures a perfect metal casting process which in turn gives you a lot of your daily products like, well, pretty much everything. Thanks for watching. It's time for this episode's question. What do you mean by casting process simulation? In the next episode of Mechanical Engineering Insiders, find out what forming processes are. So like, subscribe and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching.